guys, it's Anne. How's everybody? How are my pretties? Anyway, yeah, I gotta come up with something besides hi guys. But some of the better ones are already taken. I mean, we've got Hello Gorgeous and, and All My Beauties and that kind of stuff that everybody else is already using. And it's like, I'm trying to think of something different. And, you know, pretties is kind of... Anyway, <clears throat> sorry about that. I'm just doing kind of a chatty little thing today because I'm not feeling like putting the face on. Boo. Anyway, I've been collecting stuff still. I'm still collecting a few things. I'm pretty much on a low buy rather than a no buy. Things like I got all this e.l.f cream eyeshadow stuff that was on clearance i like clearance clearance is good i've been picking up stuff on clearance and you remember when i told you about the elsa palette that was like marked down to four bucks on amazon well this one by malibu glitz the street ink which looks like this was down to four bucks and that was free shipping yes i'm trying to not blind you with the the mirror on top interesting colors though very interesting colors and then i was out thrift shopping as i am wont to do and the thrift shop that I went into, now, if you're in Oregon and anywhere near the city of La Grande, you may already know about the thrift shop called People Helping People. But it's wonderful. It's huge. They've got their clothing and small appliances in one building. They've got a whole nother building for furniture. It's huge if you're near La Grand and you haven't been there go check it out anyway they had somebody drop off a pant load of makeup palettes the majority of them were still wrapped this one was not however the only thing that has happened to this palette since they got it was that the brush disappeared. And I stuck my fingernail in a couple of things when I went to open it. This is the official Disney Ohana palette. It's got the mirror with Stitch's little head as the shape of the mirror. And it's got these absolutely gorgeous colors in it. Now, I haven't touched it other than when I opened it to look to see what kind of condition it was. I mean, this is a thrift store. I wanted to check condition first. It was pristine until I slipped and stuck my fingernail in a couple of small places it's over here in the pink purple section somewhere around in you i don't know anyway don't discount finding decent makeup in strange places it's like if it had been swatched and dug into and all that, it'd still be sitting there. But because it was so pristine, they stuck a $5 sticker on it. And I said, yes, thank you, please. And took this home. Now, in the next few days, I'm going to be doing something with the Ohana palette and the street ink palette for malibu glitz that i picked up again this was another four dollar no paint you know no shipping through amazon i know some of you don't like amazon i understand that i get that part okay okay but i live 
live out in the middle of nowhere. I had to drive almost an hour to get this as it was. However, while I was in town in Legrand, I discovered that they have a Bells. And if you're looking for the Bells, it's B-E-A-L-L, -L, Bells. I went in and found that my local Bells, well, as local as it gets, my local Bells carries Nix and the bomb and Estee Lauder. Now, Estee Lauder is one of those out of my budget kind of things. The bomb is pretty close to out of my budget. I mean, you know, even their smaller palettes are pretty pricey when it comes to my way of thinking. But they've got NYX. And while NYX is still on the pricier end of what people like to call the drugstore, um, if they have clearance or sales or something like that, I don't have to drive two hours to get to either the Ulta or the Sephora. Because it's two hours for those. So I'm going, yeah, I can work with this. I can work with this. If I want to pick up something from NYX just to try it out, I can go right there at half the distance, which is fine, and see what happens. See if I really like it enough to pay for it. Well, we know how that goes, you know. If it's if it's expensive, it's expensive. But if I get to the point where I've saved up enough that I can go for something a little higher priced, I can go look at the stuff from the bomb at the bells and decide if I'm picking it up. I like this part. I can look at it. I don't just have to take the, the internet's picture as wrote, which is fine by me. Now, another little chatty thing I wanted to talk about is an incident that happened to me the other day here in my little bitty town. There's like one, count them, one barber in town. Okay, just one. There's a couple of salons, but there's one barber. And I've gone, cool, I'll go visit the barber. I don't really need a salon just to clean up the mohawk. Okay? So, in we wander to the little, that they've taken an old large building and turned it into tiny boutique sized shops and they now call it a mall because there are indoor doors. I don't know. Anyway, inside there is this barber shop, and the hubby is talking to the guy, and the guy is going, you know, I'll give you your first haircut for free, yada, 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 and I wander up, and the man gets an attitude. And he, shush. Shush, shush, no, not right now, not right now, shush, wait for it, anyway, little dog wants a pickup, he wants to be in the lap, and I'm not ready for in the lap, anyhow, man gets an attitude when I wander up to stand beside my husband, and he's given my husband a bit of a funky eye because my husband happens to have long hair. Considerably longer than mine. I like it that way. He's got pretty curls. And then there's me with the hawk. And I'm going, cool, barber. You know how to do a hawk. No problem. I just need a trim. 
on the sides. I don't do women's hair. It's against my religion. And I'm like, giving the husband a side eye and, and kind of looking back at the guy and he proceeds to quote all kinds of stuff from Corinthians and then opinions on all kinds of other stuff and going on and on and on about how Jesus had short hair and I'm going no that's Romans um and going on and on and on about how women and men shouldn't dress up, you know, like they're opposites. And women should have long hair and men should have short hair. And I'm just like going, do tell. <coughs> and it's like, I'm going, okay, there's one barber in this town. One, okay, one barber. And he's got one chair. There's nobody waiting. There's nobody headed toward him. Nothing. He doesn't even have hair on his t-shirt. Like he's like done a few cuts or something for the day. And I'm going, look, I just wanted a haircut. Figured I'd shop local and try to help a local business keep its doors open. But, you know, if you're going to attitude me, I kept that mostly in my mouth, though, because, you know, it is a small town. So we just went on about our business. And I went next door to his shop where there was a couple of ladies that are doing a bang up job of doing homemade soaps and ointments and all manner of, of fresh and lovely things and we spent some money there I dropped a few bucks there yeah got a shampoo bar tried out some samples picked up a couple of things all good right right and went the long way around to stay out of that barber shop from then on. And I'm like, really? I'm going, it's 2019, not 1919, for God's sake. Yeah, I get it, you guys. Some people are just like so wound up in what the Bible says you're supposed to do that whether the person you're talking to adheres to your version or not you're going to to impose your version on them and i'm going look if i was of that opinion i would not have approached you to begin with for a haircut so now I'm going to go check out a couple of the salons and see if they've got any better attitude. Because um, I don't always want to put upon my husband to have to get the clippers we have here out and buzz the sides of my head. It just... I like to go to a salon once in a while, you know, just because get somebody else to yak with and cut my hair and just flap the yap with. Anyway, that's how my week, the, the my weekend started. So how the heck did yours go so far? I mean, I'm at Saturday evening now here at 7 p.m. in the great state of Oregon. And I've still got all of Sunday to do. I may try and hit, I think there's either a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx in the town of Nampa in Idaho, which is one of the two-hour trips that I may be able to find an excuse to sneak into because I have to take 
wanted a family all the way to Nampa on Monday because that's the closest specialist doctor for what they're being seen for. Yay. But hey, at least it's an excuse to go that far where it's not just going to see if there's something at a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls that would be interesting for the YouTube channel. Yeah, that two hours just on that basis, not so much. Anyway, I'm going to run away now and maybe play with some of this stuff, see what I can come up with. Or maybe I'll just watch a movie. I don't know. I'm just having one of those kind of days. It's kind of rainy. We did that one errand going to La Grand and hit the thrift store and scoped out a couple other stores there. Because for the most part, all we've done in La Grand since we've been here, which is almost a year now, scary. Our house went to settlement last year on April 3rd while we were still on the road coming from Florida. That was a trip. But, you know, the only thing we've done in Le Grand for the most part is hit the Walmart and the thrift store. So, yeah, time to do the scope out a couple more stores while we were out. I love that thrift store, though. It's got some amazing stuff. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Please stay out of trouble. I don't have bail money. Be good.